Like, do not go into what ifs. Stay with what's happening. Do not play down the future mm. thought path of anxiety ridden. What if, you know, the worst happens? I saw myself like in a woods on a path and there were like branches of that path going in different directions. And many of those potential paths had like orange police tape, you know, in an X across them. Do not enter. Do not go here. Of course, the mind goes there, but the sooner we can catch it and come back, this is what meditation practice develops as a skill to notice where our minds are hmm. and to intercept them in a way. Just like, you know, if you throw a football, you, you intercept it. Like, don't have it go the whole way when it's going to cause distress and come back, you know, come back to where we are now. And it's particularly helpful, I think, because the tendency to get caught up in our thinking minds is so endemic mm -hmm. and, and, and makes so much sense for us humans because thinking can actually really help us, right? Like it's a brilliant, miraculous capacity we have. But in the realm of emotions, it can just become ruminative mm. and, and it's like take us down into, you know, the quicksand further and further yeah. deeper and deeper. So one very skillful option, I practice this a lot, is then asking, okay, where are my feet? Finding my feet. Oh, actually, yeah, they're in contact with the ground. And what's underneath mm. the ground? The earth. Mm. Okay, how, how about if I just, I went, I'm doing it right now, you know, I can feel my feet on the floor, mm. my sits bones on my stool. Wow, I'm right here. Drops me right yeah. here, you know? So Immediate. It, yeah. So it's shifting from thinking about dropping into experiencing now and, mm -hmm. and noticing if uh, there's some element of distress, pain, constriction, a sense of pushing away, resistance, mm -hmm. aversion. And if I notice that... Can I breathe into those areas in the body on purpose, kindly, you know, bringing space, not to change or fix anything, but just to, oh, there you are, right? Oh, oh, here's hmm. this tightness in the chest, in the belly. Maybe putting a hand, you know, on whatever part of the body might be holding that mental tension that, you know, manifests as thoughts, but often there's a corresponding sensations in the body and we can bring attention here and yeah. shift out of thinking into experiencing mm. and then bring oh they're there you know i think of they're there that kind of padding like you do intuitively with a baby they're there they're yeah, there yeah. they're there it's just for comfort right mm. this is hard and it's okay it's okay to feel it right now so i practice that a lot you know coming into the body if the chest is too upset, come to the feet. Feet are very, very helpful, unless there's of course, some injury or pain. But hands mm. can come into the hands. Often they're neutral enough to mm. rest the mind in. Mm. So that was sort of one avenue, working with the mind, paying attention to what is the mind doing in the bardo. Does that make some sense? Yes. I mean, this is like a master class on how to work with thoughts that we can get caught up so quickly and really as quick as we're lost in them, we can come back right here. This is what's so really powerful of what you're sharing is, and the visual is beautiful about in the forest and there's like these different pathways, roads, and like, don't go here, don't go here. And even the way you're describing it, there is like just a knowing, I, I, I don't have to go there. And without putting down or getting upset at the mind, we're getting agitated, like, why am I thinking this way? I can't. And now we're spitting again. We're just like, nope, yeah. not going there. And and by doing so, as you as you were sharing it, like it got me to see as well the other pathway that just opened. Now there's another pathway that wasn't there moments ago when we were just looking at here's where everything's gonna go bad, and or this person is gonna do this, and like predicting the future. Like a family, a relative, a friend, a colleague, or whoever, someone we work with, oh, they're going to do this for sure. And they might, but we don't know. 
or replaying the past, right? That's another yeah. the path our mind went going over and over, ruminating what was said, what I could have said, what I should have, right? And again, ooh, honey, no, don't go there. Don't don't stay there. Come back, come back, come back, yeah. come back. Hello there, and thank you so much for stopping by this channel. I hope you find this content useful. And if you do, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It will really help me to reach to more people and keep this content going. Here we are journeying together. And let's see where this takes us.